lifestyle. Let's dive in. I live a world class lifestyle. We're gonna talk about living a world class lifestyle. Live a world class lifestyle. I live a world class lifestyle. Next thing you know, guys, I had hit the highest credit score I had was 815. I couldn't even believe it. I, I couldn't even believe it. I had an 815 credit score, man. 815. I could not even believe it. I'm like, this, this is amazing. At that time, I just was like, now I understand the power of this stuff. And then I started thinking, okay, now that my personal credit is good, now I already have a business, but I need to develop business credit now. Because I started understanding the difference between personal credit and business credit. Personal credit has a 30% utilization. You can give me a $10,000 card, but I can't spend no more than $3,000 on it. Or it's going to negatively affect my, my credit score. Because you, on the personal side, you have to stay with under 30% credit utilization. Of whatever that balance is, you have to stay under 30%. I'm like, $3,000 is nothing, man. I, how you going to start an Airbnb business with $3,000? You need more money than that. And then I was talking to my friends and seeing how they had $50,000, $100,000 worth of business credit. And when I look at their life, their life is great because they, they figured out how to get access to the bank's money. And they were smart with the money, smart with the money. They knew exactly what they were going to do with it, not try something, not test something. They knew that they were going to do something that was proven to work. And then that's what they did. They didn't come up with it, just a business idea in their head, something that they want to do their own. They have no proof it's going to work and then start using business credit for it. Don't do that, guys. Don't do it. If you if you tap into what I'm telling you, you want to do a business that you know works. So that's what I wanted to do. I had a business already working for myself. And so I was like, now I want to tap into this business credit. So I had to learn Everything that was wrong with my business, because my business was making money, but it was not structured properly. And it was other things that I had missing. So I had to discover all those things, figure out how to go to the secretary of state, adjust those things, change things, get it done. Brad Street number. I had to do all these different things, put them together and make my business look and look and present itself the right way. And I had good personal credit at the time. So then when I went and applied, I started getting offers. I got an offer from Amazon American Express. I was just on Amazon. It's like, hey, apply for this business card. You can get this laptop for free. I was giving I was buying computers and stuff for my for my uh, workers. And boom, I went in there and they gave me like six thousand for a business credit. And I was like, man, I just literally got six thousand dollars like that for my business. Just like that. I'm like, man, that is crazy. I'm like, and I had already been building my relationship with the banks on my personal side because my personal, remember, I had bad credit. So when I had bad credit, man, I had to literally get it out the mud. I had to start from the bottom. They wouldn't even give me a credit card, man. So if you don't even have a credit card, guess what? I'm your testimony. I'm your, I, if I did it, you could do it. I went in there with a secured card. I had to take my own money. I took $500 of my own money because remember, I was making money. So if you are if you don't have a business, okay, because if you're working a job and you have money, if you have extra money coming in, remember, this is how you're going to, you have to be strategic. Money is not only meant to pay bills. Money is a tool that you must use to generate more money. So your extra money should not be going to foolish stuff. It should not be going to just uh going out to eat and having drinks and stuff. If you cannot afford to do that and invest, you have to say, nah, I'm gonna cut that crap out. I'm not going to buy no more video games. I'm not, no, I'm not doing that. I'm going to keep that extra 50, that extra 100, that extra 120, right? And then you take that and go to the bank and be like, I want to open up a credit card. I want to do a secured card where you pretty much finance your own money. So they're going to give you a, a secured one because you putting your money on the line. So you take your 500 or 250, get a secured credit card with a $250 balance. They're going to give you that because that's your 250. 